Hey guys, it's Jay Locks here from JTech with a quick review of my laptop. I just put an unboxing video of this thing up here about a month ago. I got it on around September 16th or maybe. Uh, so it's been about a month. And I want to go ahead and talk about my opinion of the laptop overall. First of all, what I'm going to do is just show you all the different ports and stuff on these sides. Talk to you about the price and also I'll talk about the specifications on the laptop too. So first of all, let's go ahead and get started with this side right here. As we can see, we have a USB 3.0, an HDMI cable port, a VGA, a Ethernet port, and an AC adapter port. And on the other side, we have two USB 2.0s, which aren't going to be as fast as the 3.0. We have the headphone jack and the mic jack. Now, before I even open it, let's talk about the price. Um, I picked it up for exactly $405 on eBay, refurbished. And eBay gave me a special deal to give me 50 off, so that's how it ended up being 405. Otherwise, it would have been around 450. Um, but it actually cost around 600. I actually saw it at um, what store was that? I think I was at Comp USA. Uh, they had it for 630. I just went there the other day. I was pretty surprised. So yeah, that's about how much you'll get it for 630. But it's it's worth the 630. So let's um, go ahead and talk about the specs a little bit. It comes with. 8 gigs of RAM with an i5 2450M processor at 2.5 gigahertz turbo boost to 3.1, that's dual core. Um, 750 gig hard drive might be 640, but it doesn't really matter too much. I doubt anyone will use that all up unless you're really into video editing or maybe even um, a DJ with a lot of music or something. So I'm actually planning on putting a solid state in there pretty soon. I'll probably make a video about that too. But um, yeah, those are pretty much the important specs. Of course, it's a 15 inch display, 720p resolution, and I, it resumes pretty quick. It also has this nice feature face login, which I don't think you can see it. I'll move it down. Um, no, you still can't see it, but up here it has my face. So you can pretty much log on using your face. No fingerprint reader like my old laptop, but that's nothing I'm going to miss. A chiclet keyboard, the power button's over there, and I kind of like this, uh, these buttons. They're much better than HP's choice they used on my old DV7 that I sold. So let's go ahead and get logged in here. I'm going to cover up this camera while I put in my password. Alright, so we log on and we see it comes right on. It's a pretty fast laptop thanks to the i5 processor and the 8 gigs of RAM. Um, if you go to cpubenchmark.com, I believe it got a 3600 30, as their score, highest ever being 12,000. So, I mean, it's good, the processor. It's much better than any other processor, but um, it's not the best processor you're going to get. All right, so let's let's talk about the things I like about the laptop. Let's start off with that. First of all, I obviously like how fast it is, and I like the nice uh, color, this mocha color of it. It's really nice to me. Um, I also like the dependability. It's always going to come on. I've never really had a freeze up ever. It's just flawless experience. I think it might have frozen once a couple weeks ago, but never again. It's a pretty um, reliable machine. It loads up different applications really quickly too, and it's really good at multitasking. As you can see down here, I have Google Chrome open, this Notepad, Turbo Boost, three Word documents, four PowerPoints, uh, three things from the control panel, and Linreg software. Uh, it runs everything very quickly, and things show up very fast too. Like, um, for example, let's see if we can open up something on. Microsoft Office really quick that's not already up. We're going to go to Office. And let's go ahead and open up Excel. It's up. Ready to be used that quick. And I've never really seen that on too many laptops. You can say I might not have had a good one in the past, but that's a really good thing. How quickly you can just open things up. I'm really impressed by that. I'm also impressed with how quickly it comes on and of course the build quality as we can see I don't have any scuffs and scratches on here but there is one small thing with the build quality that I have a problem with 
that I will touch on right now. Let me go ahead and take this off the tripod. As you can see, if I come in really close right here, this right here is a problem. And it comes from this up here. I don't really know why it does that. That kind of bothers me a little bit, but it's okay. Because it doesn't really do anything to the experience of the laptop overall. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just hop right into the things I don't like. It's not really that many, so let's go ahead and just get this one over with. One thing I do not like about this thing is, of course, this right here, the... Uh, this here it really attracts fingerprints a lot, but it's not that bad that it's just going to be horrible. And the last thing I don't like, I only have like two things, well, two more things. This here bezel is glossy, and glossy is nice for something that's not going to be taken out of the house. But I take this to school every day, so the bezel gets really dusty and uh, doesn't look good. And my father's Asus U56 laptop has a matte bezel that doesn't get dirty at all. Another thing, and the last thing, I think I promise this is the last one I hope, the Alltech Lansing speaker. Uh, the HP laptop had a Beats audio in it, and I know how people feel. Beats isn't good, Beats is bad, it's just a hoax, it's uh, overpriced stuff, but the Beats audio in those laptops was superior to any other audio in a laptop. I can't even lie about that. I don't like these headphones. Don't like their speakers, but for their laptops, the audio is enhanced. It's incredible um, how big of an enhancement it is. And when I first hear the speakers on this thing, I'm quite disappointed because I have it turned up as full as it can be and it's still not loud enough. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, for the things I don't like, of course, the camera's not that good on here. But what are you gonna expect from a laptop? It's a uh, VGA, not even two megapixels. So yeah, the camera's pretty bad. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up on the things I like, then we can wrap this video up. Number one thing I love about this laptop, I love the speed, I love all that stuff. But the thing that just makes me really happy is on my HP. If I had it on a surface even like this, and it was just running anything, a YouTube video, Rudy Loops, uh, music software, Minecraft, I played on that laptop, it would, um, it would get really hot, and it would be making a whole lot of noise, but um, if I just stop talking for a second, you can just listen to how much noise this laptop makes. If you heard anything, that's probably the air conditioning in my house, because this laptop is very, very quiet. And the other thing that I love is that it doesn't get hot at all. Like, it feels like it's not even on right now. And it sounds like it's not even on either. Which I'm going to have to commend Asus for doing because that other laptop was so loud and so hot it wasn't even funny. And Asus pretty much fixed everything I didn't like about the other laptop. Um, another thing I like, I know I said I did not like this glossy bezel, but I've had it for a month almost. And the one on my HP, the bezel was starting to come off after a month. And on top of that, this bezel was, like, really dirty looking. But there was nothing you could do to clean it. Like, you could wipe it down and it would still be the same. Like, it was scuffed up. And I've had this thing for a month. And there's no scuffing on this bezel or anything. So, I'm going to have to also commend Asus on that in terms of build quality. But all in all, guys, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this laptop. I can give it one more roundabout look if anybody who's... Considering buying it needs to have an overall look about it. Um, the build is pretty much identical to the K series. Even though I believe the X series is a little thinner. Um, my friend has a K55 and it looks exactly like this but mine is thinner. So I believe if you're looking for a K55 this will be indicative of that also. Um, but that's about it for the laptop, guys. I give it a solid 9 out of 10. I mean, the small things that I mentioned, like the glossy bezel, um, could be problems. But that's about it. Uh, if you really, if the speaker bothers you that much, they have an iHome or even an X-Mini speaker you can just plug into here. If you're not using it portably, of course. I mean, if you're in a pinch, you can just, you know, use the iHome speakers, $20. It's better than even the Beats speakers, so... Yeah, this is a highly recommended laptop, guys. Um, put a solid state drive in here. I'm probably going to put Windows 8 on it. And everything will be 
even faster than it is now, which is pretty fast. So I hope I helped you guys make a decision on if you wanted this laptop or not. Uh, thanks for watching this video. This is Jay Locks from JTech. Have a good day.